Now this is a story all about how my life got flipped, turned upside down, and I'd like to take a minute just to and see. I'll tell you, I became the prince of a school called TV. And like Mr. P.A., born and raised on a playground is where I spent most of my days. Chilling out, maxing, relaxing all who and chewing some b-ball outside of school when a couple of guys who were up to no good started making trouble in my neighborhood. I got in one little fight and my mom, she freaked, she said, you're moving to the school by the name of CB. I whistled for a cab brand and when it came near, the license plate said fresh and then dice in the mirror. If anything, I'd say this girl was a geek, so I thought, nah, forget it, yo, home to CB. I pulled up to the school around 7 or 8 and yelled to the driver, yo, home, smell you later. Looked at my kingdom, what a sight to see, sit on my throne as a prince of CV. On behalf of WCVH, this is CV Today. Good afternoon. Today is Thursday, April 19th. Now over to Lexi with some more announcements. Thank you. The quote of the day today is, you aren't going to find anybody that's going to be successful without making a sacrifice and without perseverance. Today's lunch is Asian bar and the hot combo is steak sandwich. Tomorrow's lunch is pulled pork sandwich and the hot combo is grilled chicken sandwich. Now over to your weather report. It could be a day for a sweater or wind stronger than leather. For all your daily news, here's Matt with the weather. It's going to be a high of 45 today with a low of 31. Currently it's 44 degrees outside and it's going to be a little overcast all day. But tomorrow it should be a little sunnier out with a high of 54 and low of 45. Um, so yeah, that's the weather for today. Students, CV Minithon is happening on Friday, May 4th and we want you to be there. Sign up at lunches to participate in the event. There is a $25 fundraising fee to participate but feel free to raise more. All proceeds of the event will benefit the Four Diamonds Fund to help the end the fight against pediatric cancer. See you at Minithon, and remember, it's for the kids. The National Art Honor Society is now accepting leadership and membership applications. Membership applications for artists in grades 11 and 12 can pick up applications outside Mr. Meyer's classroom. Current members need not reapply for the 2018-2019 school year. If you are a current member and are interested in running for an officer position, Please pick up an application outside of Mr. Meyer's classroom. All leadership applications and membership applications are due by May 9th. Thanks. What's up, CV? The Student Health Council is having a Color the Valley color run this Saturday, April 21st at 10 a.m. The cost of the run is $25, which includes a t-shirt and a CV drawstring bag filled with water and snacks. This is a fun run slash walk with color powder being thrown at you throughout the race. To register for the race, there's been a Google form that's been sent to you in your school email, so check it out. Uh, checks can be made payable to CVHS, and you can give those checks to either Dr. Facera or Mrs. Paul. We hope to see you at the color run. Peace out. Attention students, Kitchen Kettle is hiring. They're seeking fun and friendly employees for full-time and part-time positions. If you are interested, they're having a job fair this Friday, April 20th from 2 p.m. till 5 p.m. and Saturday, April 21st from 8.30 a.m. till 10.30 a.m. Hershey's Farm Restaurant and Inn is also hiring. They have many employment opportunities available. If you are interested, please check out the notice on the bulletin board outside the guidance office. Now over to a basic YouTubing with the Steeds. Welcome back to another basic YouTubing with the Steeds. This week we'll be throwing our dogs into a little competition. Yes, we'll be granting our dogs points based on how well they perform uh, a variety of tasks. If we're being honest, this is really just an excuse to feature our dogs in a video because they're so darn cute. Let's see how they do. So let's meet the dogs. So this is Archie. And I know you're not supposed to have favorites, but Archie's my guy. I love him. He doesn't really do much, but he's got a heart of gold. And that's all that matters. So this 
This is an English black lab. She's kind of on the smaller side. Her name's Evie. And now, to be honest, we're kind of expecting Evie to win everything today because all the challenges are kind of geared in her favor. But, um, you know, the underdogs, aka the Frenchies, could pull out a surprising victory. So, this is Evie. This is Mabel. She is just a nugget. Um, she doesn't really move that much. However, she does know some, some tricks here and there. So I expect her to do pretty mediocre. Archie, come! 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 There you go. Okay. Okay. For our first uh, test of the dogs, we're going to see if they can lay down while starting in a sit position. Sit! Sit! Down. That's at least 20 points for Evie. What can I Well, do? Mabel gets some points because she sat. You're right. Archie didn't even sit. So Mabel gets five points, I guess. <laughs> Archie's kind of a lost cause. He's really cold. Next, we are going to do an addition of Will It Fetch? We'll start with a pretty reliable fetcher. Evie. Go ball. Ready? Go get it. Bring it back. Oh, not quite. It's ready to go. Look at her. Okay. Ready, babies? You want the ball? Ready, Mabel? Go get it. Well, she looked at it. You want the ball? Go get it. Well, she looked at it. Turn, are you ready? You want the ball? You want the ball? You want the ball? Ready, Archie? Ready? Go get it! So now we're moving on to the come portion of this. And so I'm just gonna make them stay here, run over there, and yell and see if they come over. Stay. Stay. Good boy, Archie! Archie, you did it! Oh, well, halfway. <laughs> if you are looking for a first dog and are using this video as any sort of reference point, which I strongly would not recommend, <laughs> but if you are, definitely, I think if you're looking for a high energy, obedient, loyal, willing to do what you want to do day in and day out dog, then obviously, Evie's the choice. But if you're looking for a more laid back or you might say potato like dog, you've got your choices right here, folks. As you can see, they just uh, kind of do whatever. So if you want something chill, I go with a French Bulldog. All right, we'll see you guys next time on Basic YouTubing with the Steeds. Bye. Oh. Who does that? <laughs> he gets half the point. Good job, bud. <laughs> See <the> cross. <laughs> Once they're gone, they're gone. A very limited amount of yearbooks are still available. Order now for $74 before they're just another memory. Order at jostensyearbooks.com or see Mrs. King in the library. Students, Greystone Manor Therapeutic Writing Center is looking for volunteers. They're a therapeutic writing program which involves teaching horseback riding lessons to children and adults with physical, cognitive, and behavioral needs. They have an upcoming volunteer orientation on Saturday, May 5th from 1 p.m. to 3 p.m. at their facility. Please visit their website to find out more about their organization. Now over to the word of the day. The word of the day today is emulate. To try to equal or excel. Imitate with effort to equal or surpass. Becca's not here, she's at TSA. Means we have to edit ourselves. We'll do a better job than her. <laughs> Little did they know, they would not be able to edit without Becca. <laughs> <laughs> I just messed it up. Um, I've lost all the audio by accident. I don't know where it went, so. All right, let's watch the finished product. Oh, this is
recording. And that was your word of the day. I don't think we can emulate Becca. <laughs> Attention students that are taking honors science classes next year. If you have not yet received an honor science program from your current uh, science teacher, please stop by Dr. Daneker's office in the science wing. All are invited to attend CV K-12 art exhibit at the Winter Center for the Visual and Performing Arts at Millersville University. 24 artworks will be displayed during the month of April. All are invited to a reception this evening at the Winter Center from 6 to 7 p.m. See Mrs. Longacre with any questions. The following high school students have artwork in the exhibit. Casey Simmons, Hannah Gustafson, Lauren McCarter, Robert Potter, Serena Blessing, Mary Malark, Marilyn Gonzalez, Frankie Akala, Yezin Marie, Marie. There's an away boys lacrosse game against Lancaster Country Day at 4. It's missile time at 2.15. There's an away boys volleyball game against Warwick at 7. There's an away baseball game against Hempfield at 4.15. Dismissal at 2.15. There's a home softball game against Hempfield at 4.15. There's a home... There's a home boys tennis match against Altoona at 4. There's a home girls lacrosse game against Lancaster Country Day at 7.30. Come out, support the Bucks. That's all the announcements we have for you today. On behalf of WCVH, I'm Serena. Alongside Seth, and this is CV Today. Have a thanks for switching the schedule on this last second Thursday. Since you